It's 1913. Harry Culver is standing in front of a group of his peers at the California Club in Los Angeles and announces his intention and his dream to build a new city halfway between Abbott Kinney's Resort of Venice and Los Angeles, a bustling community. But Harry knew his city needed more than just the right location. A few years before, Harry Culver was in the area that was to become Culver City, and he saw Thomas H. Ince shooting a movie on Bayona Creek. He convinced him to bring over his thriving operation. Soon after came Hal Roach. These production houses brought employees and crews which led to the businesses needed to serve them. Such stars as Clark Gable, Judy Garland, Spencer Tracy, Joan Crawford, and Errol Flynn frequented the vibrant new city. Today, Culver City continues to thrive as envisioned by young Harry Culver as he stood at that lonely crossroads over a century ago. Culver City, with a smile on its face, a camera in its hands, and still driven with the heart of a lion, is poised to leap into its next hundred years.